Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. I am back today to share with you how much I wore each piece in my Q4 capsule wardrobe of 2022. I set up a little spreadsheet for myself at the beginning of this project and down the side I had the dates and along the top I had which item it was and I just put, initially I just put a little X where they <laughs> correlated but the X's didn't really tally up because that's not how spreadsheets work. So instead I went back and I changed everything to a one so that at the very bottom row it tallied up how much I wore each item. Now I'm specifically gonna talk about the items alone today. I'm not gonna talk about outfits because I didn't track outfits. And there are some weird things in the spreadsheet because there were days where I wore nothing from this, where I just wore PJs because I like to do that when I'm home. But there were also times where I wore like a sweater from the capsule but still PJ bottoms or something like that. And also on days like today, today's the 31st of December, we have about seven and a half hours until it takes over to the new year. I have filmed a couple of videos today or I will have filmed a couple of videos today for which I will have gotten changed. This is a personal preference of mine. I'm I want my thumbnails to look different, so I don't want to wear the same clothes in several thumbnails in a row. Personal preference. But days like today, I am just counting what I have on as like my base outfit that I will keep going back to. And I think that's okay, I just wear different clothes for a little bit at a time, so not a huge part. But there was one day where I went through the first half of the day wearing something, and then I changed in something else because I was filming a thing and then I ended up wearing that for the rest of the day and so that day I have tracked what is essentially two outfits but either way it doesn't really matter. Now since I've had 33 items in this capsule I'm not going to go through each and every one like this and have to talk about each and every one of them though I will have a section of this video where I put a picture of the item on the screen as well as a number for how many times I wore it but I want to start off talking a little bit and then you can find that in the timestamps down below. What I do want to talk to you about instead is my top three, top four, because third place was tied, items. The items I wore the most and the items I wore the least. The top three or the bottom three, I guess, of that as well. I mentioned in yesterday's video, because yesterday should have been my Q4 final thoughts video. I, I'm i filming these out of order so I, I, I am not sure <laughs> but that should have been the video that went up yesterday. I talked about this sort of velvet skirt that I have that I hadn't worn. I'm wearing that today on New Year's so that is not going to be in the least worn category. But let's start with the three items I didn't end up wearing at all. First up we have this dress that I also talked about in yesterday's video. I didn't fix the strap and that is entirely on me. I did not put the things on that I needed to attach this strap back onto the dress. Very sad about it. Should probably do that soon, but yes, zero wears. I also didn't end up wearing my Christmas dress. Now I call this my Christmas dress because it's quite Christmassy to me. It's got some reindeers on there, but it's not like I've continuously wore this for Christmas. I wore this for Christmas last year on Christmas Eve, which is when we celebrate and maybe one more time that season leading up to Christmas, but I didn't end up wearing this once this Christmas season, this capsule, and I guess I can still wear this come January. I guess there's no harm in that really, like January and onwards when it's still cold, but a bit surprised I didn't wear it. I kind of early decided that I wanted to wear my red blazer and the whole outfit that I ended up wearing. I at least decided that at the beginning of December, so I feel like I could have just put this on and not had a fear that, oh no, but what if it's in the wash for Christmas? Because I didn't intend to wear it anyway. That's on me. And the third item we have in the didn't wear it all category is this little black dress that I got from a friend over the summer or in the summer. And I don't know, it's just not very me is one way to put it. It just felt a bit boring, <laughs> I guess. I mean, I never put it on. I never put it on, looked in the mirror and went, no, I'm not gonna wear this. I just didn't put it on. But there's something about the material and also the fit and also the length. And it is a size smaller than I would normally go for. This is also like, I didn't buy this new. I didn't get this new. Um, it's 
a size smaller than I would have gone for and I think that makes me a bit uncomfortable in the stomach area. I don't know, but I'm not sure this is gonna stay in my wardrobe moving forward. We'll solve that at a different point. That's on me. <laughs> like all these three things are on me. The first and second dress I showed you though, I like how all these have dresses, that's interesting. But the first and second dress I showed you, I will be keeping, is my intention. Now moving on into the top four items I wore the most, third place is tied. So I'm gonna show you third place first and then second and then first place. And I'm not super surprised by this. I'm not super surprised by this. So tied in third place, we have this gray cardigan that I have had for a very, very, very long time. Long cardigan, it's got pockets. I'm surprised by how well this cardigan held up because I feel sometimes that this cardigan starts smelling after I've worn it for like a day. It is not made with the best of materials, let's put it like that. But I've had it for a long time, simple gray cardigan, long sleeves, quite thick, works with a lot of things in my winter capsule. And then tied with the gray cardigan in third place, we have my black cardigan. <laughs> this was an item I didn't have available when I made my Q4 put together video. This I showed in my secret wardrobe video instead, and I had my in-laws bring it home from their summer house so I could include it in this capsule. And so this is tied with the gray cardigan in number of uses. And both these cardigans really outdid any other cardigan I put into this capsule and also really outdid any sweaters I put into this capsule. You're gonna see that as I roll through the how many times I wore each item thing in a minute. But yeah, this cardigan is kind of loose-knit as you can see, you can see through it. Also long, also has pockets, big and slouchy, comfortable, not amazing in terms of looks, but very comfortable. Moving on to the second most worn item, and this is very creased, so I apologize for that, but I have just worn it and it's gonna go in the wash, and I uh, don't think it's been ironed once this whole time. <laughs> it's fine. But it's this white oversized shirt. It's got these embellishments on the cuffs. Wow, I'm very overexposed. Uh, there we go. It's got embellishments on the cuff. There we go as well as on the collar, which is facing me and not you. There we go. This is a beautiful shirt. It is oversized, it is vintage. Oversized, white, very comfortable. Looks really good on the things. The only problem is that it is oversized. And so I can't wear tight sweaters on top, but I had like one tight sweater in this capsule anyway, so it's fine. I love this. There are so many good outfits I can wear with this and have worn with this and I'm just... I love the shirt so much. And then the grand finale, my most worn item in my Q4 capsule is this dress. This is also supposed to be in the wash, so excuse that, but it's this long midi dress with a tie at the front. It has these like extra flaps down the front so it looks like it's like two skirts. It's just so good. It's just so good. And this dress really intrigues me because I'm used to dressing in a way that cinches in my waist. That is where I have a belt or where I have my smallest, tightest something in my outfit. But this has a little bit more of like an empire waist where like the tightest bit is just under the bust and then it flares. You can see it in the back better. Um, there's a seam right there. Whoop. <laughs> There's a sweet seam right here, like below the armpit, and that carries over in the front too. So it's tight in the chest, and then it starts flaring right below that. And it's such a different silhouette for me to wear, but it's also my most worn item of this capsule. So maybe that is saying something. <laughs> I also found it interesting that my top four items, my top three items, depending on how you want to count that, are all neutrals. What I claim to be someone, and I am someone who really likes color. I wonder if I had done this tracking in summer when I had a completely different color scheme to my capsule, if it would have been very different. Would it still have been, you know, the denim, which is a neutral, the denim and the white uh, button downs and, and those things that would have been worn the most? Or would it instead then have been patterns, because I had a fair few kind of out there patterns in my summer, spring summer capsules? Uh, and colorful t-shirts and colorful cardigans and checkered pants and colors and all that. I don't know. And I, I, I can't go back and track what I wore. So we'll just never know. But now let's move into a slideshow of how much I wore each item. Let's go. <laughs>
And there you have it. This was me tracking my Q4 items, my Q4 capsule items, how much I wore each of them and which ones I ended up not wearing at all. I am tempted to, down the line, make a spreadsheet or use some sort of app to track everything in my wardrobe to input everything that I have including adding in new things as I add new things in and probably then removing things as I don't keep them maybe but just keep track of it on a bigger scale than just this capsule. When I did my Q1 capsule I did the hanger thing where I put the hangers wrong side out in my wardrobe and so each time I wore something I flipped the hanger right way around and that was a good indicator of whether or not I had worn something or not. But yeah, it was just interesting to track things this quarter and I'm gonna try to figure out what and if I wanna do something similar down the line. Again, I have like seven and a half hours left of this year. So probably not setting that in motion tomorrow. <laughs> anyway, that is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back with another video soon. So I hope to see you then. Bye.